Hello, well I've got my little loom out today and going to do some weaving and going to try a few different little weaving styles. So I'm going to start off with some plain weave and then I'll probably try something like some basket weave um, or some rib weave or something else weave. <laughs> we'll have a little look and a little play. I should just add that it's a four shaft loom. So there are four of these um, shafts which have the little heddles on them. So that does mean one can do quite a good number of different pattern variations, which is all rather good fun. So on this loom, I can raise and lower the shafts by pulling on these little string blocks. And the different ones go up and down. So I've got the four shafts behind here. Okay, I'll release those and you can see them go down. There we are. So at the moment I'm just doing a plain weave and to do the plain weave I pull up two of my shafts so it's the numbers one and three and then I pull up the other two shafts numbers two and four and just do that alternating. So I've just done one and two, pop those down so this is just lifting up these little frames with all the heddles in them. So these are two and four. And now I just pass through. Beat it back. Take those two down and bring up number one and number three again. And just doing this alternately. Pass it through. it back and this is what gives me plain weave. So this is a section of plain weave here and you can see the warp threads in the lighter grey coming through so you do get a bit of a pattern. Obviously all of this is quite sort of rough because I'm using my homespun wool which probably isn't very well or very evenly spun but you get a nice two-tone rather nice natural effect there. I'm just doing the basket weave and for this one it's like double the plain weave so I'm doing it's shafts one and two together followed by three and four together but in each case you do a couple of passes so I've just done one and two so I'll put those down and now raise three and four and I give it a couple of passes So it's like two layers going, going through. A little beat and then back to one and two and so on. I'll give you a closer view. This one is the basket weave. Now I guess as you get into all of this you have to start thinking about what are you weaving the material for because a plain weave will be far stiffer because there are more intersections than a basket weave where there are fewer intersections because everything's basically being doubled. So this basket weave one will um, fold and crumple and move far more so than this more rigid plain weave. And you get all these little considerations, you get the artistic considerations of the look and the colour of your warp threads. So yeah, I can see there's a lot to this. But it's quite interesting trying out the different weaves. I'm now doing the rib and it's first shaft up and then put your weft wool through and give it a little beat and then it's the other three shafts, so shafts two, three and four up and just doing this alternate, alternately, giving it a little beat. I've done a bit of it here and you can see there's a little bit of sort of like ribbing effect. It's not terribly pronounced in this colourway I don't think and probably would need to do this with two different colours to get the proper effect and probably a slightly different kind of wool but it's quite fun to try it out. 
try all these variations and see what they look like. This is the rib. And again, it's a slightly different effect. I don't think it's showing very dramatically, but it's basically slightly wider, narrower, slightly wider, narrower, slightly wider, narrower, as you go across. I'll find one more and then I'll call it a day, but it just shows the sorts of things you can do by raising and lowering the shafts in the loom. I'm now doing a one free twill. Okay, quite interesting. At any point you have two shafts up and you do them one, two, two, three, three, four, four, one. And you just sort of alternate them each time. So at the moment I've got three and four up. Let's feed this through. So then it's three and four. Then it's four and one. So you're just changing one each time, basically, but at any point, two of your shafts are up and two are down. And then it's one, two. You sort of, I can see you would get into a sort of bit of a rhythm with this. And then two and Three. I'll make this the last pass at the moment and give you a close view. That's a general idea. What you've got is it is a slanting twill effect. Well, here's a closer look at the one free twill and hopefully you can see that the so general direction is following that steel rod. So the effect is a slanty type finish. Well, I hope you found it quite interesting seeing how you can vary all the patterns by depending on which shafts you have up or down and which combinations you use. There are, of course, other combinations because I threaded these shafts in the simple one, two, three, four at the outset when I was going through the heddles. You could, of course, change that and get more variations. So there's quite a lot of scope for experimentation. Anyway, it shows you the sort of principles and the sort of capabilities of a four shaft loom. And I hope you found it interesting. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye then.